Hey kids, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 7, Accessor Methods, Exercise Number 4. In this lesson, we're going to create our own dessert subclass, which is good, kids, because what you haven't heard in this unit is the thousands of times I've called this desert instead of dessert. In this exercise, we're going to write the accessor methods for some instance variables, and then the next one, we're gonna instantiate some objects and print them off. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We already have our dessert subclass imported, so we're gonna create a new file. And I think I am in a cookie mood, so we will make a cookie subclass of dessert. Are we importing anything in our class? No. We're gonna start off now with how we started every other class though. We're going to public class. Our file name is cookie, so our subclass is gonna be cookie. And we want to extend or get all of the methods from our dessert class. So we're gonna extend dessert, and then we're gonna do our curly cues. All right, end of class here. Now we have to give it some private instance variables. Well, for a cookie, to me, there's two important parts. One, how big it is. And the second, is it chewy or not? In kids, to the chewy question, there is only one answer. How do we write our private instance variables? Well, we are gonna use the private keyword. Then we use our data type. For size, we could go diameter. I don't think we're gonna get into fractions or anything like that. So why don't we use an int for whole numbers and we'll just call it diameter of the cookie. Then the next one, I'm not a fan of chewy cookies. I like my stuff burnt kids. So I think I'm gonna use private and then a Boolean, yes or no, if it's chewy, and then for our variable name, we'll just use the word is Chewy. Now we need a constructor to create the plain cookie. So we're going to do a public keyword and then cookie. Don't forget your curly cues. And we're not going to super anything because we are not importing anything. And we are going to give it its own default values anyway. And diameter is going to be equal to zero. And is chewy. Again, I'm not a fan of chewy, so we're gonna set it to false off the bat. That's our no argument constructor. What if a user wants to import something? Well, well, let's write that. So we need our parameterized constructor. So we're gonna write public cookie, and don't forget your semicolon there. And if we look at dessert here, at our example, we have two we have to get, and that's going to be new flavor and new price. So we're gonna write those two right off the bat. I'm gonna write string new flavor and double new price. Now I have to deal with the ones that I wrote. And I did diameter and that's an integer. So we're going to write int. Now we're not going to reuse the same word. We've been using the word new. So let's write new again and we'll write diameter. And then we have to do our last one. That one is a Boolean and we'll use new is chewy. You know what kids? There is no semicolon after this. There's curly cues though. Now we have to give some access to these parameters or constructors. So we have to use our old friend super and we want to super what? Well, new flavor and new price. That's the variable names they're being set there. 
How do we do that? Well, we just write new flavor and new price. That gets a semicolon. Now, if we look back here, you'll see we kept setting our variables to this new word, right? And we wrote this as new is chewy. What do we want this to reference? Well, this reference value we want is this is chewy. We have to set them up to reference each other. How do we do that? Well, I just want diameter equal to new diameter. I'm going to do the same thing with is chewy. Is chewy is going to be equal to new is chewy. And now I have a place for my object to store all of these variables. We're not done yet. Remember in lesson three, we had to write these accessor methods to get flavor and get price. Well, through the extends, we get access to these methods, but we have to create access for the ones that we also wrote. So we have to write some accessor methods of our own. How do we do that? We'll remember our anatomy. We use the public accessor. Then we need our data type. Diameter is an int. And then we need to make a new method name. We use the word get because we are getting the diameter. Don't forget your parentheses for this. And then we have to open up this method. And we just want to get whatever that variable is. So we're going to use the return keyword to just end the method. And we just want to return whatever that diameter is. That should give access to our diameter. We're going to do the same thing for our is chewy. So I'm going to do public. And this one is a Boolean. And we have to get what is chewy. Parentheses because sometimes we might have a parameter and then our curly cues. And then what are we going to return? Well, we want to return the variable is chewy. That means anytime get is chewy is called is chewy will be returned. And again, this gets back to our call by value that we talked about in exercise one. Let's see if I spelled anything wrong. So far so good, but nothing's really being called in this method. So all this means is I got my curly cues right. Key takeaways from this lesson, kids, is really understanding this new structure of how we're writing subclasses. And that's this idea of encapsulation and setting the variables private to within that class. In order to get access outside of this class, we have to write new methods called accessor methods. And you'll typically hear these referred to as get methods. Again, this lesson is really enforcing how we write these accessor methods and we use the public identifier, the data type, whatever variable name we want to create for the method. Typically it's the get word in front of it. We use the return keyword and then whatever instance variable we're trying to access. Hopefully this video helped you understand accessor methods just a little more. As always kids, if you have questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye.